as a young girl in the Catholic Church, I happened to grow up in an Irish Catholic family. And our faith was very important. And my mother brought my brother Paul as a birthday gift, a replica of a church altar. So Paul immediately stepped behind the altar. He was going to be the priest. And myself and my twin sister, Pat, we grabbed two chairs and sat down in front of the altar. We were like the parishioners. And everything was going fine until some point, I remember, I stood up and I said, Paul, I want to play the part of the priest. And I'll never forget. He said, you're a girl. You can't be a priest. You have to be a man. <laughs> so that point was indelibly, you know, I learned that very quickly that, gee, there's a difference between being a girl and a boy in the church. Well, then come a few weeks later, my mom was a church organist. And after the choir practice, she said to my sister, Pat, and myself, would you like to go and stand behind the altar? Well, we were just excited because you have to remember back in the 1950s, you didn't see girls up on the church altar. So Pat went behind the altar first, and it was my time and I practically just got situated <laughs> behind the main altar and I'm looking out and I'm imagining on the weekends, like in the 50s, those church pews would be packed. I'm thinking to myself, oh, this must be so neat to be up here. And all of a sudden I hear this gruff voice. What are those girls doing up on that altar? They belong nowhere near this altar. Well, my mother then, she wasn't one to rock the boat, but she said back to the Monsignor, oh, that's right, Father, unless they're cleaning the altar. Wow. And he just immediately turned around and he left the church, he was concerned because that was my mom's bo boss. But you could tell just his whole tone, his demeanor, what a way to approach young girls with such a condescending. So that was another <laughs> indelible mark. When I went on into my 20s, 